Hello everyone, this is Hunter Collect here with another action figure review, and here we have the Marvel Legends series Spider-Man No Way Home Doctor Strange. Let's go over the packaging first. So we get the Marvel Legends logo here on top, Spider-Man No Way Home logo down here, Doctor Strange. Here is the Seder of Doctor Strange doing the spell, Spider-Man emblem here with some gold detailing here in red. And here's the back with Doctor Strange there with the description if you guys want to pause and read that. Marvel Legends logo here in the corner. For this wave, we'll be building uh, Armadillo. Mary went over the integrated suit, black suit, black and gold suit. Uh, we're doing Doctor Strange now. We already did J. Jonah Jameson, and we already did Miles Morales. And we still got to do Morlin and Shriek. And here's the other side art. Here is the top with the Spider-Man emblem varnished on top. And then here's the bottom with the DCPI. But besides that, let's crack them open. So here is Doctor Strange out of the package here. So let's go over the accessories first. So for first, we get Armadillo's head, which we'll go over once we build him. Next, we got Dr. Strange's cape here. So you get a peg here. You get this nice, really cool texturing here. It's a pretty thick uh, plastic. Uh, you, it's soft, so you can bend it a bit, uh, but it's pretty stiff. You got all this like quilting texturing here on the outside of it. So you get some smooth areas, you get some rigid areas. You get this nice uh, like wave here. And then here's the part where it covers, covers up his shoulders and keeps him more secured. It keeps the cape on there more secured. And you get that circle texture in there. You get some gold there. You got his collars flapped up. So yeah, and then, like I said, you get a peg there. So it gets on him more, even more secured. So yeah. And then here we get uh, these hands here, which is for like gun holding hands. Or uh, we've gotten this with the first movie, Doctor Strange figure. Um, to hold his other spell thing, which is basically holding like a gun or a shield. So yeah, we've seen these before. One for each hand for that. But instead of doing that now, they added, so you get these wide open hands and they kind of just stuck them, like glued them attached to this, uh, somewhat soft plastic. So it's pretty soft. So I recommend doing that. Try to peel it off. They're pretty thick though. Uh, you get the transparent gold. You get this nice sculpt texturing there, which looks really cool. But like I said, don't try to peel it off. Otherwise, you're just not going to be able to put it back on unless you glue it. So you get that. And then here's the other one, which is bigger, as you can tell. So that's pretty cool. And then, yeah, they're, they can hinge. So that's also nice. Uh, but yeah, that's all we got for accessories. So here is Doctor Strange up close. Well, we do have another accessory here, uh, but let's go to head toe first um so yeah we got a new head sculpt for him um you get his goatee going here you get some gray on the sides of his ha hair there oh no his head you get that curled up hair look there you get the blue eyes it, it looks like benedict cumberbatch cumberbatch um and then you get a brand new top part here uh i think this is a new skirt piece but the legs are the same which we've been getting for like the past few years with Doctor Strange. So the legs are the same, which I don't have a problem with. I just was not a fan of the head sculpt for the first movie, Doctor Strange, or the uh, shield piece for him. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, you get this nice, cool navy blue here. You get some dark, darker navy blue for the sleeves. You get this wrapped up texturing here for his forearms. You get some brown there, some light blues. And then you get the light blue here with some sculpting here with some darker blue. And then here you get the Eye of Agamotto, which if I don't know how it, they're going to play this out in the movie, but it looks like he's going to have it still. So I don't know how they're going to do that. But this is a new one, I think, unless they updated it from that two pack from the 10 year anniversary MCU one. I didn't get that one. But if they did, then. This is the newest one that I got. Then uh, you get some red paint there for the necklace piece, and then you get the Eye of Agamotto, which is gold. You get some gold pieces in there. Here's another gold piece back here. You get a peg hole in his back. Then you get this brown belt around him with some silvers here, silver detailing here, and then some bronze for the sling ring. Actually, that's a cool detail, a sling ring. 
And then I wish they painted that silver in the back there just to get a more, you know, more detail. And then here you get the skirt piece here with some nice texturing along the edges too on the skirts. So that's cool. And then you get the normal pants, which we've seen before, darker blue. And then you get the boots here, which we've also seen before with a darker gray. And yeah, so let's go over the articulation for him. So his head is a double ball joint head. So you can look down just that far. You can look up just that far, left and right. Lots of head pivoting though. Shoulders can move out that far. 360 rotation there. Bicep swivel, dumb jointed elbows, which are also pinless. So that's another reason why we know this is a brand new body mold for the top part. Uh, wrists can hinge down that far, up that far. 360 rotation there. He has a ball joint at the hip, so you can just go forward that much. Backwards only that much. A little bit of side to side. You can twist legs, kick, kick out only just that far forward, just that far away because of the skirts, backwards barely. You got a thigh cut in there. You got double jointed knees, still pinless. I mean, still pinned because this is an older bottom piece for the figure. You got a boot cut here. Ankles can hinge down that far, up that far. Nice ankle pivot. So here is the Spider-Man No Way Home Doctor Strange next to the Doctor Strange movie figure next to each other. So yeah, you can kind of see the difference here. You can tell by the difference with the uh, color palettes, the sculpting, and the shields here. I really do recommend this one a whole lot more, actually. I prefer the color palette on this. And the cape is just way too huge on this one, so it makes him, like, over... I mean, counterbalance i mean it loses its balance so you can't have to use the cape as a stand actually so that's also helpful but this one i prefer just because it's a lot more functional and i do prefer the hands uh for that for the like mystic shield compared to that i don't like this um but yeah i highly recommend this one over that one so yeah, that's the Spider-Man No Way Home Doctor Strange for you. I recommend that one. Like I said, he's awesome. I like the color palette on this. I would say the only problems that I really got is kind of the hip, the ball hip thing. I don't really like that because you don't get a whole lot of movement with it. And the legs don't move a whole lot. I mean, even though you'll be standing straight up most of the time, I think. Um, but I really like the cape. That looks a whole lot better from the 2017 or 18 movie. Uh, figure um, and I really like the hand sculpts I really like the colors on this figure a whole lot it comes with a, the right amount of accessories we get like six different hands for him so that's awesome but and then we also get yeah I am Agamotto so yeah that's all I really got for this figure if you guys want to check out my link tree in my description it has my TikTok Twitch and Instagram on that and I'm also doing a promotion with uh, Fandomian uh, where you can go online and get some cool Marvel merch, a lot of hoodies, shirts, and all that good stuff for you. And if you use my uh, coupon code HUNTER, uh, you can get an extra 10% off on all your orders. And if you get an account with them, you get 5% uh, off on your first order. Um, and then, yeah. So go to, ahead and check that out on my link tree that's in there. Uh, but besides that, thanks for watching.